I was at home and I got that call when uh, the first uh, COVID patient was actually confirmed. And um, you know, I can remember having that, that pit in my stomach thinking, oh my gosh, here we go. When we hit that inflection point where the number of cases increased exponentially, where it really started to kind of take over the department, you know, the hospital, you know, that's when things dramatically changed. It was the most challenging, and I'll tell you, it is still one of the most challenging times in my career. We were losing team members, our colleagues. The numbers were growing exponentially. It was a tsunami. We went from zero to 200% in two weeks. I've never seen anything like this. First few weeks were a blur. We relied on our team members, our, our frontline heroes, uh, nurses and, and doctors, to hold their personal cell phones so that the families could FaceTime with their loved ones and say a last goodbye. Initially, I don't think that we knew how you know, many patients we were gonna get here. I think that finally, it really hit me when we were like, hey, we're gonna close the cafeteria and make that a 74 bed COVID unit to help care for the patients. It was just pretty amazing that in seven days we could construct flip the cafeteria, put beds and oxygen and suction regulators and computers. There was no dedicated staff for this area. It's a combination of travel nurses from all parts of the country and our existing HMH team members who wanted to come and help. My care has been excellent. I came in not only with COVID, but with COPD. And they have done everything possible to keep me breathing. I can't even begin to tell you I appreciate it. I would say early on what was a real game changer and a, a true highlight was how our scientists at the Center for Discovery and Innovation discovered and put together and rolled out a COVID-19 diagnostic test within a week of that first patient. Certainly their, uh, their convalescent plasma trial was a huge highlight. They put this into place so quickly and literally, you know, since the beginning, uh, thousands of people have been uh, helped. We have blood type B convalescent plasma. All right, you're gonna do good, okay? All right, you hang in there, okay? All right, you're in good hands. You're in good hands, okay? <laughs> if somebody's like holding your hand, giving you a little bit of reassurance, I think it goes a long way. I mean, you know, you talk about Another proud moment for Hackensack Meridian, it's how we've been leading in rolling out these vaccines. The virus has certainly taken its toll on the entire world. We've seen what the virus can do to people, and anything that we can do to have this virus subsided will be great. We were involved in clinical trials for Moderna, for Johnson & Johnson. I understand the importance of participating in clinical trials. I feel that if I don't come out and do it, why would anybody else do it? We're running New Jersey's largest mega center. The benefit of a facility like this is the scalability. You know, vaccinating uh, thousands a day, this entire operation has been about a team. We do function and we work as a family. I feel like that's in our bones. Our team members have been so resilient over a long period of time. We're talking here about people who are stepping up and uh, saving lives and risking their own each and every day. That to me is a true inspiration. What my team ended up doing was to try to create as many isolation negative pressure rooms as we could. It showed me the power of JFK and what we can do. We did this as a team. I would tell you very honestly that um, it is the team that supports me every single day, stands in front of me, next to me, behind me and continues to inspire each other and support each other and say, this is what we are committed to do and we will be unwavering in that. Many, many times on a daily basis, if not on an hourly basis, we had our backs against the wall and we always came up with something. It reaffirmed in, in my mind the belief that a group of people with shared purpose can overcome anything, truly. I think we learned a lot about not just ourselves, but we learned a lot about um, each other and the team. Yes, it was uh, the most challenging time in, in all of our lives, you know, personally and, and in our case professionally as well, but it was also our finest hour in so many ways.